In this section, we will look at how to deal with n-dimensional datasets using 2D images as an example. Astropy.nd data provides classes to represent images and other gridded data, including some essential functions for manipulating images, and the infrastructure to include support for the image classes. The ND data package supports any kind of gridded data, and it includes several sub-packages, including CCD data, cutout 2D, block reduce, and block replicate. CCD data can store the image data, a mask, and metadata. Cutout 2D includes convenient access to cutouts from the data. Block reduce provides methods to downsample the data and block replicate to upsample, therefore resizing the image. To show how to use CCD data, let's create some data. We first create a 2D grid using NumPy. Then, using the Gaussian 2D modeling function, we add five Gaussian sources and add some random noise. Finally, we will add a cosmic ray. So this is the resulting image that we can work with. A mask can be set using simple Python logic. For instance here, we will get an array mapping all the values within the data that corresponds to the cosmic ray value. Now that we have data and mask, we can instantiate CCD data using the constructor. Here we pass data, mask, and some extra metadata. CCD data can be both written to or read from a FITS file. Say we want to cut out image of the source at the lower left corner of the image. We can use the cutout 2D function to specify the position and the size of the cutout. This will result in a detailed image. Cutout 2D can also be used to plot itself on the original image. This is done using the plot on original function. It also provides methods for finding pixel coordinates in both the original and the cutout image. Finally, block reduce reduces the image size by a factor of n. So say we want to have an image reduced four times, we will use block reduced with factor four, which will provide us with a smaller image. So here is the result of an image reduced four times.